finally back. It's Wilfred's Reviews and today we're gonna take a look at Ignacy Cevicek's Imperial Settlers. My name is Ilya, here is Andres. Hi. So Andres, what, what's this game about? Well, this is a civilization building game with various player powers. It's a card game, but it has all kinds of free sources, combinations and it's not long, I think you can end it in maybe one and a half hour, which is really good for an empire building game. So let's look at the game. So here are all the components for the base game. These are the faction boards, the female and the male side. The faction boards consists of uh, like four different locations. Here we put the action cards. We have the basic action, the basic feature, and uh, production, and here we, on the left and the right side, we put the cards corresponding to the, to the production feature or, or action. Uh, on the left side, we put faction cards. On the right side, we put basic cards. And up here, we put some deals. So what's this all about? Uh, each faction, each board has its own faction deck. And uh, let's start with first that it's a civilization building game when you're building your up your empire and you're doing so with the cards. So the cards are buildings. So uh, these are all four factions. The Japanese faction is uh, in the back there because we don't play it right now. We try to manage, we are trying to master all those other factions. Here we have the basic cards. And so what's, what's this all about? On your turn, you can uh, build the cards, let's say build a building, make a deal, or uh, for example, do some actions. And let's take a look at the cards. They have a real nice artwork. Uh, here we have resources what we need to pay to get this building out. Here we have uh, the action or whatever it is, the feature or production. That's what we'll get. The actions are mostly like if I build this building, then the uh, after after the, like let's say the next turn, I can use that action. Here it says I must spend one worker to draw one card, and there are all the different ones. On uh, on the right corner, these are the resources that I get if I raise it. So there are two ways to interact with each other when we raise each other buildings or we raise our own buildings let's say uh, if i raise my own building i must spend we have this, those special raise tokens i must spend one raise token to raise this card from my hand and get the resources depicted if i have this card built somebody else can raise it uh, with uh, two tokens unless i defend it with a shield there is one shield per player per game so if I defend it, he must spend free shield, uh, free race tokens, and he'll get the bonuses. So that's almost the only interaction here. Some maybe some few cards get more interaction. So and what you're trying to do, you're trying to build all those buildings. You get at the end of the game, you get victory points. These are the basic cards, and these are the faction cards. For example, Roman faction. The buildings are, let's say, more expensive. They need the built buildings to be discarded to build them and uh, they also provide different actions more actions more production and uh, here we have a deal so you can spend one food to make this card a deal so you'll just put it under here and you get that resource every time each each production so the game itself is separated into rounds. We have a lookout phase, there's the drafting phase, where we uh, get one, one card each from, the, from his own deck. Then we uh, make drafting. So the first player chooses, the second player chooses the third one. Then we do the second drafting with the new four cards, uh, but we do it uh, counterclockwise. So the, last play the player who was last now chooses first. Then after we draft the cards, we'll uh, do production phase, 
So everything that's written over here and all the production cards and all the deals give us resources. And then we have the building phase where we can uh, activate our action buildings, we can build new buildings, uh, get more resources, get more combinations, score victory points. And uh, we do that for the five rounds. So they're basically five rounds. We can do as many actions as we want. So we can do uh, one action per turn. So then the turn goes to the other player and so on. And uh, for the round to end, everyone has to pass. So if I say pass, if every player say, says pass, for example, in a free play game, then we uh, get to the new round. So at the end of the game, we score the points for all those buildings. And whoever has the most points is the winner. And just for a brief moment, I will show you some components of this game. This is the goal. It's really basic. Cardboards. And, but here are some really nice uh, wooden tokens for the wood worker and food. Food is like an apple. There's really good wood and uh, workers. So all the components are really nice. I still consider to sleeve all the cards. Uh, if you're a new player, then uh, you can uh, you can just uh, play with uh, those three basic uh, factions like Romans, Egyptians and Barbarians. Uh, don't take Japanese in your first game. This is uh, really hard to, uh, to master everything because the game is really finky. But after you have mastered the basics of the game, you can try the Japanese because they have because there are, you can raise the buildings, you can raise the basic buildings. So I, and you cannot raise the faction buildings at all. So they cannot be touched. But Japanese faction buildings have raised, uh, like uh, have ability to raise them. So uh, every player can raise them and every player can mess up your Japanese deck if you don't know how to play with the Japanese deck. Well, this is Imperial Settlers. Well, thank you, Ilya, for showing this to us. Um, and I just want to share some thoughts in Zen. First of all, we'll start with combination seeking. Uh, it's amazing. You have so many powers. Uh, you have so many different cards. In each of them, you you can see a combo. You do this. You get resources. You pay them that in the next turn. And uh, also that you can switch your workers for resources. Um, it's yeah, you great. can you can do almost everything. The goal counts as uh, any uh, any resource like um, wood, stone, and apples or food, let's say. And you can yeah you can combine different resources to get new ones, to get something else, to get victory points. And you have you don't have like one choice what to do, but you have so many different choices. I can use these resources to get that, or I can use these resources to get something else so it's yeah but sadly this can this can lead to ap problems and i'm a yeah. person who really likes to find the best combos of the cards of the cards <laughs> i have so yeah. it, even, even if the turns go really fast uh, one player makes his turn second player has his turn and then it comes for example to me and i'm still seeking the best combination of the cards because um, i can do it that way or the other way around can we consider that uh, the downtime for the other players. Just for me, I think it's like uh, when you do your thing and uh, when you think that much uh, about your turn, about all the best combinations that you can get, uh, I do almost the same. It's like, like yeah, we, the players are different, the mm -hmm. players do different things, but uh, for me it's like uh, I'm just sitting there and thinking my combination while you are uh, thinking of yours, so uh, I think there is some downtime, but it's not so not so uh, like uh, in the front. And this leads to player interaction. It's very low here. Of course, you can raise and destroy other players' mm -hmm. buildings, but uh, as far as we have played, I think it was really rare. Of course, I was playing this time the barbaric tribe, and I kept destroying our buildings. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not the main goal of the game. You can, yeah. you can probably live uh, really f easily without it. Yeah, there are like uh, one or two cards uh, that interact with other players from in the uh, Egyptian or 
or a Roman Empire, Roman deck, but the barbarians are mostly like uh, interacting or destroying other buildings. But uh, we've heard about the future expansion. It's it's almost it's it must be there this week, and it's about uh, what was the name? Why can we be friends? It's about open production, uh, where we can both uh, interact more and get resources. So if you get something, I get something. So. Mm -hmm. But um, even without expansions, you can play this game more than once. It's it's it has some kind some uh, replayability. It's not only about the fraction, but of course it, about the combinations you get. Yeah, um, it definitely needs some more uh, like bigger like expansions, more factions here, and there will be more factions. And quite sure about this game. Uh, I don't, I don't think they would be compulsory for for casual players. I think only yeah. completionists uh, or people who just have want to have more variety should get them. But at this time, uh, yeah, if you, it's if, fun. If Maybe. you play it, yeah, if you play it like uh, once a week, then it's all right. If you play it almost every day, then you maybe need some new faction but especially if you play uh, with three players because mm. it, this uh, base set it has four races four factions and you can switch it you can shuffle them yeah and the uh, powers and the strategy of all the different factions is different so uh, Egyptians are mostly about getting more and more gold uh, to get they, they don't have uh, much stone in them but the, their own faction has much stone, so they need to get the stone to get more buildings out. The buildings get them very many points. So for me, Egyptian uh, faction is is like, I think it's it's just a little more powerful than the other factions. But maybe it's just all about uh, how much have you played with all the other factions and how strong is every player. So there is there is a balance. There is a good balance. And yeah. if if there is some some I don't know if there is something unbalanced here, it's it's very very small. Yeah, but uh, same thing as probably with most of the games. If you have played at least once, you know which fraction which has its downsides and which had which has advantages. Same thing with uh, as Elia mentioned, the Egyptians ha would mostly build from stone, and the bar the barbaric tribe is a build it from wood mostly. So, uh, for example, for the new players, I would be advisable maybe to suggest that uh, if it's it build, um, if you're playing Egyptians, go for the stones and money. If you're playing barbaric, go for race tokens and and wood, for example. But uh, I think that it's it's quite easy to understand because on the fraction sheet, uh, this this main feature of the of the of the fraction, it usually guides you and shows you which way to to get which way what you can store. So, overall, it's uh, very thinky, uh, let's say not so small, it's like a bigger card game, civilization building card game with a lots of replayability and with uh, definitely some future expansions, some future uh, new factions there. It's a really great combination seeking game over here, hand management. So if you, I think if you really like hand management, you like something like Glory to Rome or like uh, I play the Ikronia. Uh, if you have a Deus, a new game from Essen, uh, these are all almost the same. You try to build up your cards so that they get you more cards, more abilities, and so on. So it's um, it's a re implement of the fifty uh, first state. I didn't play the 51st states, but I think Imperial Settlers is a great, great game, and maybe I would like the 51st state, but just I like the theme more. Like I like, I love the civilization themes in games. So that's I think that the ones who will like it are not only the hard, like uh, the Euro gamers, heavy Euro gamers, but also some casual players who don't like really long games, uh, it's it's a thinky game, well, but it has its balance there. I don't think it's actually, it doesn't feel like a Euro game for me actually, it feels more like... Um, yeah, that's not what I'm saying. Something like, um, I don't know, some card game, something like, for example, maybe even Android Netrunner, when it, you have your, your cards and you're trying to do the best of it, of what you have. 
I know it's not the best example what threat you get, or but still, um, uh, of course here you don't you don't steal resources, you don't uh, lose them, but um, for who would like? I mean, even actually people who like this card drafting, card games, combination seeking. Uh, I think it's actually from more for those players. So I think um, Virfel will definitely give a hug to this game. We really like this one, game. One, one from me. <laughs> Even more from me. From me, I mean. So we really enjoyed this game, and I think you will too. Thank you. Bye.